Kiko, good afternoon to you. Uh, thanks for coming on. And I, I know the result aside, it's not the result you would have wanted, but, but performance-wise, what did you make of your team over the 90 minutes? Yeah, hi, Jake. Uh, I bet you're glad I was here, wasn't you? Because uh, I was listening to Tim's ramble then as well. <laughs> <laughs> he was going on a bit, and I apologise, Tim, if you think I'm being positive or I pick up on the positives, but uh, it's what I do. So what did you make of that, that performance then, Keith? Because we, we were watching that game, we thought you played really well. Yeah. Large spells of that game. And, and was it maybe the final third, that just that, that cutting edge, especially when you were on top in the, in the first half, that, that didn't quite materialise? Yeah, again, I think we've uh, we started very well, like you said there, and I think. Um, Credit, credit to the new lads that came in. They didn't look out of place, uh, any one of them. So we had some good passages of play, uh, used the ball very well, good dominance. And then, like I say, the final third, I think we had a couple of balls in the box uh, in the first half that uh, <coughs> we were disappointed not to get in enough numbers uh, into the box. And again, it's those fi fine margins today. Um, you know, Sam Oskin's shot, speculative shot, shot uh, that goes in. Uh, and we would have got, in my opinion, a deserved draw out of today's encounter. Um, I thought we had the, uh, the lion's share of the first half. Um, and I don't really see them um, opening up, uh, opening us up uh, in the second half, apart from the uh, the, the, the two goals. Where, where, and again, they are down to fine margins, decisions on the decisions on the board, decisions uh, being made uh, with the defending in the, in the final third. But no, uh, credible credible performance. But obviously disappointed with the, with the defeat. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we saw you with that change, of, the change of style, um, the change of shape as well. Four three three. Talk, talk us behind the thinking of that. Well, uh, again, I thought they, uh, the way that they played, you know, they usually um, and predominantly uh, dominate possession in the ball uh, and the lad uh, Bridcott through the middle makes them tick. So again, we wanted to stop them having the, that flow in their play and, uh, and having the dominance and being able to get into the final third with, with, where they have got good movement, uh, good combination plays and we wanted to uh, disrupt that. And again, I thought first half, I thought we did that and I thought we nullified a, a lot of their forward play. I think um, we had a spell just after Mikel went off when they had a, f a few combinations down the, down the right hand side. But again, but, but then we, we adjusted. I think they had one, one cross shot where the Mitch got a finger to and a good clearance. And apart from that, I didn't really think they were a threat in the first half. Um, second half, when they got the, when they got the, the goal advantage, uh, I think that's um, allowed them to be a little bit slightly more expressive. But again, but we still had chances. I think if the penalty appeal uh, is given, which Again, I've got to go and speak to Anthony, the referee, and find out why a, a challenge from the wrong side is not the same in the box as what it is outside of the box. When you know, they got a free kick on the edge of our box for a tackle from the wrong side, their lad makes a tackle from the wrong side in the box, but he, but he uh, wasn't brave enough to give a penalty. Then we, uh, then obviously, then you we. Think it should have been a sorry, sorry, Kate, sorry, Jane. You think it should have been a spot kick, Kate? Well, I think if, if he gave a free kick uh, for them on the edge of our box because he said uh, Kean Bolger made a challenge from the wrong side, the, then surely then the rules of the game dictate that if somebody makes a challenge from the wrong side in the penalty box, the, that, that, that's a penalty. Um, but, but sometimes that's the logic that, that sometimes goes against you. Uh, disappointing then when you're trying to get to the communications on to the, the, the referee. And it seems to be a standard thing now that the communication between the fourth official uh, and the referee, you know, their in, uh, intercom seem to break down every time we want to get a message onto them. Which, uh, again, whether I can uh, invest in an intercom that where I can speak di uh, directly to the referee as well, or at least grab hold of the linesman's flag and start flagging it myself. Yeah, you maybe should have had a free kick a little bit earlier as well, right outside the penalty area for the challenge on Ashley Seal. We were howling in commentary, Keith, that you should have had a free kick for that too. Yeah, well, yeah, again, he uh, said. Uh, in, in the in the linesman's opinion, the player was on his way down, and the the, the shove in the back and the uh, and the grapple over the shoulder um, was not uh, in any way, shape, or form uh, enough to, to warrant uh, a free kick. But, but then disappointing when I think our uh, our first booking uh, or our booking for, uh, on Lloyd Jones, you think, great tackle. The kid's shown in the board. Uh, Lloyd's come uh, straight line got the ball, uh, the lad rolled over screening, the referee uh, gives them a free kick and cautions Lloyd for a very genuine, honest tackle. And sometimes that shows the, the lack of understanding uh, that's needed. He lost a couple of players to injury today and, and, uh, in the first half and the second half, Miller in the first half and Sabi in the second. 
Keith, it's early days, but what can you tell us about the injuries? How how serious are they? Uh, potential knee and potential hamstring. Uh, until then, until they uh, until they get settled down. Uh, when we when uh, when Nacho does his di diagnosis, uh, and th then we'll have a little bit more information on you. But again, um, they'll be in, they'll be getting their treatment, uh, they'll be uh, they'll be assessed, and the, the relative treatment will be uh, will be given to them. Uh, again, imp uh, important players in, in how we've uh, definitely in how we played in the first half because I thought we uh, we looked in the ascendancy, uh, and we did certain, certainly looked the, uh, the, the 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 comfortable team in possession looking forward. Yeah, definitely, because he has got the. Uh, Mikel's a good player, and, uh, and he's got dynamics, and he's got good ball mastery, uh, and he can co uh, he can cover the uh, cover, cover the grass. Whereby one minute you think you've got him, and then the next thing you think, where's he gone? Then the next thing he's getting onto a flick on, dropping short, getting the ball. But and, and that's a freedom uh, uh, that we want to keep in his play. But obviously now we need to get, uh, make sure we get him right, get him on the pitch. Uh, and again, again, it's part part of the, the loan window. Now you're going to get predominantly when you, when you are bringing players in, they're not. Uh, as finely tuned as what you would wish, uh, wish them to be, but that's due to the parent clubs that they've been in. They haven't been playing week in, week out, but this is where uh, we've given that bit of time that we need with them get, uh, and get them robust to be able to play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. But again, with that in mind as well, we've still got a very competitive squad. We've still got good players uh, that are ready uh, uh, and able to fit in. Well, uh, uh, I think they might have heard that I'm actually doing my referee's course as well. Are you being serious? Am I? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, I've got a lot of respect for referees. I've got a lot of respect for the work that the referees do. Um, but likewise, then I do question some of their decisions. But yeah. not, but not yeah, their, but, but not their integrity. Three players uh, in the squad, and again, I think they fitted in very, very well. Um, and, and, and again, I think there's a, there's a bright. Uh, we know that we're in a fight from now until the end of the season, but, uh, but this gives you. Uh, we, we are still very much alive and kicking. And just a final one, Keith. Um, just just away from this afternoon. Just just on Nicky Adams, really. We saw him obviously at the club yesterday. And we know what a great relationship you have with him, and what a relationship he has with Cobblers supporters as well. Um, just, just a word on him uh, at the Cobblers and, and how big a player he's been for you. No, 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 uh, in, in football in terms, uh, I love Nicky Adams. Uh, not only his uh, his ability, but also his personality and the respect that he's got for his profession. Uh, I think he's been a credit to himself, his family, and also to, to us as, uh, as a football club. Uh, and everything that he does and how he conducts himself, he's been, uh, he's, uh, he's been excellent. But within that as well nicky has got a responsibility he's got a young family um, and he's been given an opportunity within the current climate as well he's been given uh, he was offered an 18 months contract uh, if it had been any less than that uh, then nicky would, st would still be here but we're mindful of the fact um, nicky's got a family that he needs to be uh, to look after at the end of the season he's been offered a contract for that 18 months something that i wasn't able to, to offer him uh, as we stood uh, well when we had the conversation in the office i just said i wouldn't be able to offer him that 18 months contract now and again Nicky wants to play Nicky wants to play week in week out and, and, and even though we've got a very good relationship that would not stop Nicky and it didn't stop Nicky coming in uh, demanding to know why he wasn't playing uh, and again and out of respect not only for Nicky but for all the players they ask the questions that they get told why sometimes they, uh, they agree and understand sometimes they're disappointed frustrated uh, and don't agree but you know, that's what I got paid to do, to be honest, uh, and give them, give them, give them the honesty uh, that their career deserves. And sometimes, when I was Nicky, you're not going to play uh, as many games as what you think you should be playing or what you want to play.
No, no, and again, uh, we did get our next answer. I spoke to Mickey yesterday. I know the, um, he sent messages to all the staff. He sent uh, a special message to, to the chairman as well, thanking him for his understanding. Uh, and hopefully, we, uh, and hopefully the chairman was respectful of the, the decision that Nicky wanted to go and play uh, up north again.